Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part four of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit. So you guessed it, division. Division is going to be this forward slash operator, which in case you're curious about how to remember if this is forward or backward, it's where the top of the slash is pointing. So if the top of the slash is pointing, pointing forwards, reading from left to right, then it's a forward slash. If it's pointing backwards, then it's a backslash. So here's one without any real context. We're just gonna see the operator uh, in oper in action. See the operator in action? Yeah, that worked. So quotient is gonna be equal to 24 times six, which is a typo, because we definitely, definitely wanna divide these. So this won't be in your version, hopefully, because I'm about to go change it. But the quotient is gonna be 24 divided by six. So when we divide 24 by six, the quotient is then going to be four. So there's one. And let's go ahead and grab this real world example um, where we have slices of pizza and number of people. So slices per person is going to be the slices of pizza total, which is 24, divided by the number of people, which is six. So that is going to result in four slices per person. And no worries, the slices are not that big. Ha ha. Anyway, let's talk about the coding challenge. We're gonna complete a function that takes in two number parameters, num1, num2, and returns the result of num1 divided by num2. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of dividing num1 by num2 using the division operator. Then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, get quotient. So here's our function, get quotient. I'm going to paste this into the REPL, and we're gonna grab our test case. And at this point, this should be pretty familiar about what we're doing here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set a result equal to num1 divided by num2 using our division operator. Then we're gonna return the result. It may be around this point that you start to think, boy, these are really easy. And that's the point. You introduction to these operators and methods is supposed to be easy. Eventually we'll have situations during our programs where we want to do something like divide a number by another number, add something to something else, apply a Boolean operator, and the idea is that we'll have at least practiced it once and you'll have a place to go back to see a working version of it provided you move through the material linearly. With that in mind, we're gonna copy our answer here, put it in the input window, run the test, and at this point we are in admirable shape. I'm gonna try to use a different adjective for that rather than just good shape, so we'll see how long that lasts. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.